It is June 26, 2018. I am walking on the former Big Four, former Peoria and Eastern, former Conrail line between Farmer City and Bloomington. This stopped operating around 1998 when Norfolk and Southern bought the line from Champaign to Bloomington and it is obviously being torn up now. Ahead of me there is a there's an excavator and he is flicking the rails off the ties about uh, back at Downs which is about maybe 12 miles behind me. They're doing the final cleanup and then somewhere in between they're picking up the ties. The reason I'm walking along the right of way here is because I want to find the distance signal that was outside of Farmer City. Uh, that's just an apron. It was a uh, target signal and it had a perfectly good pinnacle on it. I could see it from Interstate 74 when I drove by, but over the years the vegetation grew up to the point where it was no longer visible. So I don't know if it has been removed uh, long ago or if it's uh, still here laying in the rubbish. This is the only signal pole that I've seen. I walked about a mile that way. This is the only signal pole I encountered. But I don't see any anything else. No junction box. There have been no insulated joints in the rail here. So I'm not sure exactly where that signal was, but I should I should not have any difficulty finding the foundation. That would have been close enough to the center line that it would be um, in the area that's been stripped of vegetation here. Unfortunately, I have a time constraint. I need to be back in Champaign in about 20 minutes. So I can't do as thorough a search as I'd like to. Though I'm not sure what I would do beyond just walking back and forth until I found it. Okay, so that's, oh here we go, there's a telephone pole segment, this looks like a motor car set off, there's a phone pole segment. Or is that the same one? This seems about the right distance from the interstate. As I... Oh, jeez. Well, I don't see it. keep tripping on spikes. That's not fun. Then there's this puzzling cast iron pipe here. I guess I'll have to go to historical aerials and see if I can find the signal and then come back.
here comes a workman to hassle me. But I'm already to my car. Ah. So unless that workman wants to run, I won't have to bother talking to him. Yeah, he has lost interest. All right. Now I am on the other side of the interstate. I'm east of where I was before. And so you can see the rail is still in place here. And there's the excavator down there that's flicking the, flicking the rail off. Oh, there's a... There's a team track here. I never noticed that before. Those elevators in the right side of the frame are in Farmer City. Anyhow, time to go. Ah, one more shot. Here's, I'm in Farmer City now, and here's an old signal foundation and a battery box, and over there, is where the diamond used to be with the Wabash. So this is still an active Norfolk and Southern line. Uh, it ends at Bement to the south and Gibson City to the north. Gibson City to Manhattan-ish was mostly abandoned in the, oh, probably around 1990. And here's where the diamond used to be. Looking north, looking south. I think I'll snap a couple stills. I'm still in Farmer City, and as I drove east, east through a town, I found myself wondering whether the track was going to be torn up between Farmer City and Mansfield or not. And the answer is yes. Actually, I misspoke. That was not the Norfolk and Southern back there. That's the old. That's the Illinois Central line that goes from Gilman southwest to I'm not sure where it terminates. Mansfield is where the Norfolk and Southern is. So I kind of wondered if they might leave the line intact between Farmer City and Mansfield to um, create a little network redundancy. And. The answer is no. On the east side of Farmer City, there were workmen, about five workmen, manually pulling up spikes with long pry bars. So this is a pretty low-tech uh, salvage operation. They're pulling the rail up with an excavator with a, a claw on it, and um, the spikes are being pulled manually. I would have expected a bulldozer with rollers on the sides to strip the rail and I'm not sure what I was expecting for spike pulling, at least some kind of power machine, but uh, they're just doing it by hand, so interesting. And now I am done with this video.